I had wanted to go back to Korea for the 1988 Olympics, but I was in college and couldn't afford it. This year, Kim Hansen finally made it to the Olympic Games. This was actually my 19th trip to Korea. But this time, she did it with 17 fellow Korean adoptees by her side. It's amazing when you meet a new adoptee, then, I mean, the bond is just unbelievable. The connection is instant and we share stories. We feel like we're brothers and sisters. But there was work to do on this trip. Now the Korean government is looking at ending international and domestic adoptions. Kim says the government wants to build more orphanages instead. Every child deserves to have a family. That's what we're trying to advocate. But opportunities for orphans in Korea are few and far between. Even employers can say, oh, you're an orphan. I don't have to pay you as much. Kim has spent nearly two decades fighting to give orphans a voice, making almost 30 trips abroad with Holt International Adoption Agency, 19 to Korea alone. We were able to speak to representatives in the Korean government to say here we are. Kim says she's forever thankful for the opportunity she was given when she was adopted. These are the pictures that parents get called referral pictures. So this is the picture that my current parents would have received. It's one she passed on when she adopted her daughter Cora from Korea. So this was her when she came home and then this is her at a year old. Her past drives her purpose today, giving a voice to the voiceless because she knows it could have easily been her. Where's their opportunity and who's going to speak for them? So I feel like I can do that. In Bennington, Erin Hassanzada, KETV Newswatch 7.